Hello everybody, I am Sean. And I'm Amber. And we are the Couple Big Grills together. And today we are very excited about the new member of the family, Fred. Also known as the Chimp from Gorilla Grills. Now the reason we decided to go with a Chimp from Gorilla Grills, we love Ferdinand over here. Our RT700 from Rectech, we love it. We've had absolutely no issues. But we were looking for a grill that could do just as well or even better. But we could also take with us if we were going somewhere for the weekend or going somewhere on vacation and we could take our smoker with us. We wanted to try to find something that we could take on the road with us. And we found it with the Chimp. We can use it as a backyard smoker and also take it on the road with us, throw it, throw it in the vehicle and go. So we're going to do an unboxing of this today and we are very excited about feeding the chimp. So as part of Gorilla Grills, they, uh, they support your veterans, which we thank you so much Gorilla Grills for supporting the veterans. I know I'm very happy about that. I know Amber's very happy about that. Her dad served, my dad served. I have two uncles that served, two nephews that served, a grandfather that served. I served, uh, so, and I got a brother, brother-in-law that served. So we are very grateful to all the veterans for serving our country and we appreciate Gorilla Grill for doing that. And as part of them supporting the veterans, you do get a few freebies, which was kind of nifty. And one of them is a Gorilla Grills hat. All right, so you get the hat. You also get some thick and bold barbecue sauce is one of the ones that they gave us. Yeah, which it could be a different kind of sauce. Yeah. So you get a sauce and you get a spice and they sent us the all-purpose rub. Um, we did get the which Amber's real excited about this. We got the jerky rack, multi-purpose jerky rack, which basically gives you more shelves in there. So that'll, that'll give us a lot more room. And she also got us the pimp your champ. Yeah. <laughs> little pimp your champ is what they call it. And that, as we get to each part, we'll show it to you. But one of the things that comes with on that is for the side skirt for the smokestack, you get a plate that says chimp on it. And it directs your smoke up. Correct. We got that. We did get the front shelf with the chimp. Uh, and we did get the bucket for the side. It does come with a little cage though where you could use a, a can to put in there. All right, now we're getting to the main part. We're gonna see how quick this goes. Like I talked about with the Blackstone, that's been the easiest thing I ever put together in the backyard. Ferdinand wasn't too bad, but because of the size, we do have a smoke box on it and everything. That we and had. the competition card. And the competition card. Those are all things we had to put on and put together uh, that were extra with it. So let's see the chimp. Got a nice lid, put all the trash in. I would say it came packed extremely well. That's what I would say. Got a box with some accessories. It's probably got the handles in it. So you do have to put on the handles. From what I understand, the handles for the most part is all you got to put together on this. The legs are already on it.
Now again, that is one of the exciting things about this, is the fact that uh, I can't get the lid off. One of the exciting things about this is the fact that the legs are already on there. Like I said, they fold up underneath it, but it does have a little feet to where you can put it in the back of a truck or something just like it is. All right, so it's packaged real well on the inside. They got the grates covered up. Take it out and unpackage it. We got the grate here. And then the, this is gonna be the bracket for the handle that goes on the front. Our next step is we're going to unfold the legs so we can get this chip up off the ground. So Gorilla Grills puts the support bars on each side during shipping to help support it, keep it from anything happening to it, which is a great idea. Just take something very that I can use a rubber mallet and use the other end, end of it just to pry it loose. It comes right out. It's got some tape on the end. Use that and pop it out. That's just to give us some support and shipping. So, like I said, the neat thing you, you got the little feet on the bottom here that you could just put it on a tailgate, set it on a table, whatever. Then you got your legs. All right, so now we're gonna pop our legs out on here. Just got a, the release button right there, push it all the way in. There we go for that side. All right, so now we'll get the other side. And this side has wheels on it. Now we'll get the other side. And there it is. So the chimp, look how nice that is. Hey, already I like it, because in reality, this bad boy is basically put together besides putting the handles on it and putting the pit my chip on there. So let's get that going. So, the chip is put together as far as the basic part. All you gotta do is put on, take the cup plastic off of the grates inside, put it back in after you clean them, attach your handle here on the front, attach your handle on the side. This is by four, besides the Blackstone, but I'll just, I'll say it, this to me was as easy as the black stuff. I mean, all I had to do was put on two handles and unwrap the grates. 
taken out of the box. I mean, it was that simple. Like, I'm still gonna, I still have to put on the chimp, my chimp accessories, which includes right over here where the smoke stack is, little deflector port that says chimp on it. And then I also have a port holder to go on the other side where the cord is. So I'll get those two put on right now. your chimp accessories on which included the smokestack on the side you just take off that handle put it back on with the uh, smokestack on there and then also on the back you can't see it right now but I'll take a picture of it and show you it was a attachment to wind your cord up so you can have your cord back there now I'm gonna put it on the front shelf So we got the shelf on. Folds down real nicely. Folds up, just locks in place. Now I will say, and I'm gonna confirm with grill, grills tomorrow. I'm guessing because we had a newer version, it came with two brackets. And and this is something new they offer is the front shelf. So the older grill grills I know did, uh, the chimps did not, uh, they weren't specced out for it. So it came with two brackets that I don't see that I needed because it already had on the new one, it already had the two holes. I just needed the screws from them, put it in there and put the shelf on. But I will confirm with them tomorrow about that. But now we got the whole chimp is already together that is by far i've put it together quite a few grills over the years by far the easiest grill i've ever put together one of the biggest helps was the fact that the feet were on there they just fold out and fold in which is one of the main reasons why we got this i love the construction i love the fact that for the lip around the lid instead of some kind of cushion or anything they actually have the steel in there that fits right down inside there to help seal it of course with any of them you get smoke out of the front but that's i love the idea of that going in there it's real nice it says grill grills right there on there of course got the chimp there all right, so we're out here to finish the review on our Chimp by Gorilla Grills. So, to start this off, we've had the grill now for how long, Amber, a month? A little over a month. A month. Now, the grill you're actually looking at is our second grill. And the reason that is, so we got our first Chimp in, and we ha did have some issues with it. Now, that being said, Doing all the investigation we've done with Rectech and with Grill Grills, there's people that have had issues with grills. It's just, and they do get them taken care of. The customer service was the reason why we picked both of the companies. So the first one, the temperature was all over the place. You'd set it to 225, it'd shoot up to 500, come down to, to about 120. I mean, it was just all over the place and it didn't really matter they got two settings they had the pid setting and the pro setting pid is going to be more accurate the pro setting gives you that wave 
with the temperature in there. But the crazy thing was on the first one, it seemed like the Pro right. was more stable than the PID right. setting. Yeah. And Although it still wasn't very stable. Correct. But they sent us out a new temperature probe to mount inside the grill. That didn't take care of it. They were they sent us out a new board. Now we ordered the one we have has the Wi-Fi on it, and we got it when it right when it came out. And I say that because the board they sent us to try out a new board, which was most likely the issue, was a board off of the chimp without Wi-Fi. So we couldn't put that on. So the gentleman that Amber spoke to, what was his name? Jeremy, and he is the manager at the location in Texas. He said they'll just send us out a new grill, which was great. Now that being said, this take, took about a month because of course we had to try out the new probe got to mess with it a little bit see if you know we did mess with the auger setting a little bit they uh, and to see if that would make a difference on the old one it didn't because we did want to make sure that we tried everything right. and um you know that there was truly a fault with it and um we appreciate how much they did work with us yes they on did the troubleshooting they did a great job so they sent us out a new one and that's the one you're looking at now we're doing some uh burn ends on there we got this one in tuesday or wednesday 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 we got it in wednesday and today is sunday i've broken it in like no other and i say that not because of how much we've cooked on it but because as soon as we got it up and going, I put pellets in it and I let it run and let it run and let it run and let it run some more to make sure how it was doing on the temperature. Difference is day and night between yep. these two grills. Yep, this one does perfect. So I do think that it's an issue with the board on the other one, but this one works perfect. Uh, we did our first, Big piece of meat on the chimp uh, with the uh, corned beef brisket that we did. Turned out great. We're doing the bird ends tonight. So far, they, they look great. Uh, and here's the thing. Now, I will say on the other one, the one we had so much issue with, the biggest thing we cooked on it was one, uh, one rack of ribs, uh, St. Louis style ribs. So not real big rack. But everything we actually cooked on it turned out great. That was the crazy thing. Yeah, the food tasted the, great. The, it was yeah. just it's just the temperature was oh. all over, and and I and that's surprising to me because as much as that temperature was moving around, we couldn't say the food didn't taste. The, it, it didn't do a good job on the food because the food turned out great. You just had to be watch it very closely because of how much the temperature was moving around. We couldn't trust it no. to make anything that was big. We didn't want to try anything big on it with the temperature moving. That's why we uh, uh, waited till we got this one. But this one works great. The customer service for Grill Grills is, is wonderful. I, I do want to point out Alan West was the first person that helped us with our problem. Um, he helped me for a couple of weeks, almost every day, us going back and forth and him watching videos that I was sending to him showing uh, the way that the grill was acting. And um, I really appreciated him. And then um, Jeremy got involved whenever Alan was on vacation for uh, a few days. And um, so Jeremy got involved and he obviously took care of us by you know trying to send out the the controller and then when that the wrong one got sent him just sending out a whole new grill um so i do want to make sure that we point out those two guys because they were incredible and we appreciate them so much and it proved to us that we did make a good choice because we know that grill uh, gorilla grills is going to stand behind their product and their employees are going to have our backs to make sure that we get the kind of product that we expected. 
And I'll say this, uh, you know, was it a little frustrating? Yes, because like any time, whether it's a grill, a car, a house, when you're buying something new, you want it to work right, you expect it to work right, but everything is made by man and mistakes happen. But we knew and we stuck with it because I just, I knew that it had to be an issue with the grill that they weren't putting out a product that was not great. And again, we went with the, the chimp because we want some portable. Those legs fold up so nicely. It's the fastest grill I ever put together because you don't, only thing you have to put on it is the front handle. Everything else comes on it. Now we got the chimp your pimp. Right. Uh, kits and we haven't taken it off of the old one we've got to get that one boxed up to send back to gorilla grills so we're going to have to take those pieces off and put them on the new one but the other day when this one came in sean and, um, and i both were unboxing it together and it literally took us less than five minutes oh yeah to get the grill out five of minutes. the box and yeah. put up and get it going that's how quick this if you want something small but and I say small, you can still do big pieces of meat in there. But if you want something small and portable, something easy to set up, and it's going to do a great job, this is the one for you. Because again, yes, it took us less than five minutes to have this thing. We'll just say five minutes out of the box, plugged in and running. Is We had it going in five minutes. That's how, how quick quick that was and that's and again because the only thing you have to put on it is the front hand everything else is there but uh we can safely say that we love this grill uh it's the, it is a good size for being portable the meats uh that we've done on it so far has turned out wonderful yeah, the customer service is great again. And that yeah. goes so far because like Sean said, every brand of product you're going to have an issue with from time to time. 100% of our product is not going to work perfectly out of the box. The difference is the long-term quality of the product and then also the customer service behind their product whenever you do run into those rare occasions when something's not going to work right and they had our back from from the word go um i highly recommend grilly grills we are completely happy with our decision yes i mean again if you want a, a small grill that is portable but then can still take care of your needs you need to get the chimp it's perfect for us Again, there was nothing wrong with our Rectech, our Bull, our RT700. It has been great for us the whole time. We just wanted something small and portable. And this is definitely the answer for us to go along with our Blackstone Adventure Ready, the 22 inch one. That, uh, that is portable for us too. So we got a grill and we got a Blackstone that are both portable. But I love the branding on the Gorilla Grills. I love the the Chimp, the branding on it. I mean, it's perfect, and I love it. And I thank you, Gorilla Grills, for all your help on this and getting it taken care of because I know it's going to work out, and it's already working out wonderful for us. So a couple things that we do really love about this that are different from the other... Uh, the other pellet grills that we have owned um, is the the drip pan. Oh yes, yeah, the drip pan. Now I know, I mean, we haven't seen this the silver back or anything in person, but it looks like it on the video is the same way. The drip pan on this definitely has more of an angle than on any other pellet grill we've seen. So the stuff really drips down and off and out and into your drip pan uh, for the just about all of it. It's got a better angle. I noticed that right off the bat. And again, in the videos, it looks like the Silverback, which is the bigger grill smoker, has is, is done the same way. And I love that about it. 
and the the double insulated or the right. double walled it's double walled insulation insulated which it's going to help out better in colder but one of the things that even though we're in florida and it's obviously warmer i like that idea just for the fact that it could hold the heat the smoke and everything in there better with the double wall even though we're in a warmer climate and so far i would say it, it's definitely doing its job but yes we are very pleased with our chimp and keep watching us we'll have plenty to show you with the chimp but if you're looking for a smoker a pellet smoker i would highly recommend gorilla grills definitely yeah so hey if you need a grill grill you want a smoker go out to go to grillgrills.com look at what they got and get going because everything's better together, together.